I didn't sleep for shit. Yes, you did. <laughs> You're liar. Yummy. Your sister Aurora va a venir hoy. How do you feel? I just. The baby's coming today, Angie. Aurora viene today. How do you feel? Happy? Hmm? Oh, you're entertained with your food. You feel happy? Yeah. You feel happy? Yeah, no! Oh, how about you? Me. You feel happy? Yeah. <laughs> She's coming today. Come. Voy a ir al doctor. Doctor? Yeah. Y me la van a dar. A la baby. ¿Cómo? Me la van a dar, pues. ¿Sí? Sí. ¿Así? Me van a decir, here is your baby. Mm, qué rico esa sopita. Ok, ¿Qué le, ¿qué le vas a decir a tu sister? ¿Quieres jugar? ¿Quieres jugar, Willy? Oh. ¿Y tú qué le vas a decir a sister? What are you going to tell her? ¿Qué? No, oh, ya. Yeah. Willy. Afuera va a decir afuera. ¿Afuera? Uh -huh. Ajá. De I want to take her outside. You want to take her outside? Yeah. Really? Conmigo. Contigo? Y Angie. Y Angie? Yay! We're going to be outside playing? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Tú vas a ir a casa. Oh, really? Así. You too, Angie? Ocho. Oh, really? You're going to take her outside? Ocho. Ay, qué lindo, mamori. ¿Te rico? Wow. Okay, mm -hmm. dile, I'm waiting for you, sister. Dicile. No. Dicile, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, dile, I'll see you tomorrow. No. Tomorrow. Tírale un beso. Mua. Mm. Mua. Tírale un besito. Mua, <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So, after a couple of months of not filming, I know it's really bad for us to even, you know, do that. But anyways, I'm going to be showing you clips of my labor and how everything went down. Of the room that I was in, of where the doctors were keeping me because I was induced to my labor. I was to give birth August 6th, between August 6th and August whatever. But due to this health issue that I developed with my second baby, um they had to induce me uh, it was almost a month earlier because of that uh, condition i always forget the name of the condition that i was diagnosed with so i'm gonna you know put it in the description either right here what happens is that my hands start to itch so much that no matter like i used to go like this scratch 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 and nothing worked it was like an inner um itching it was so disgusting and so so uncomfortable that um i had to talk to my doctor about it and they did some tests some blood work and it came out positive that i did have that condition so that's the reason why they induced me a month almost a month before my due date i, I actually went to the hospital twice um the, this doctor sent me and he says okay you're getting induced today and then i went and whatever and they said no the baby's still little and we can't do that we'd rather for the baby to um to stay you know in your stomach for a little bit longer it was just a suspicion that i had that thing and then they did blood work and whatever and a week after the doctor calls me my um obgyn and she says no i need you to pack up your stuff and go to the hospital right now because we need to take the baby out immediately because um that condition um can kill the baby because it, your liver produces a chemical that will harm your your baby she came out on july 22nd let me stop talking and show you guys footage um we took small videos of of the delivery because um i feel like when you give birth that's just so personal for me this is my personal opinion i feel like labor itself it's so personal and so beautiful that it has to be i feel like it has to be kept between you and your partner because it's so private that's just how i feel it and that's how i 
that's that's what i think ever since i gave birth to my first daughter alejandra i didn't allow anybody to be in the labor room um i remember everybody was outside in the waiting area and when it was time to push i said i don't want anybody in here except my husband and myself and the doctors who are gonna be you know bringing the baby out with the second one with my angie it was the same thing private as well it was just darwin and myself and with my beautiful newborn same thing that's something i wanted to experience just him and i let me show you clips of how everything went down and um and show you like you know how everything was in the delivery room and everything so here you go enjoy i'm dropping you at grandma's house angie where are you going to stay with sonia con show <laughs> she's like i guess so ale look at me dile i'm waiting for you sister ale i feel like she senses when i take the phone out because as soon as i take the phone out she stops moving to come by herself like voluntarily i'm getting induced due to the same issue i had last time with um uh, with angie no i know <laughs> i know because i am angie but what was the issue i had um poliostasis that's what i'm having again so i'm getting induced i'm currently 36 weeks so it's safe to do it so we're gonna wait and see what they tell us Going up. Oh. You feel like a what? No, you know what's crazy? Like I feel like a pro, you know why? I already know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Third time of having a baby. <laughs> Day. Ice. Okay, guys, so after coming two times, so the second time was finally the how do you say it? The induction day. The induction day. I didn't sleep for shit. Yes, you did. <laughs> You're a liar. I didn't sleep at all. I woke up at one. <laughs> You're such a liar. You've been sleeping since freaking 10. She slept the best. You know. I only slept like three hours. No, no, no. She slept the best. You know why? Because whenever you sleep from one to four or five, that's the best time to that you can go to sleep. I woke up at one and I was looking after her. She, she's denying it. You see that, right? He's denying it. Anyhow, the baby's almost here. She's on nine, nine centimeters, almost ten, almost ready to push. Look, I'm gonna take you guys on a tour. But look, you see that? That TV sucks. I couldn't play um Fortnite on. Baby's gonna be right here, right there. And then 
you know what you guys know, if you guys know how to read that let me know in the comments so you guys can let me know what's going on <laughs> baby Oish. Yeah. You got anything to say before mm -hmm. popping off? No? I'm Very so bad. Oh, there you go, there you go. That I am actually able to lose Yeah, because you guys know what's going on. You guys know our story. No, they don't. Oh, you guys don't? <laughs> we never told them. <laughs> we gotta tell them. You guys don't know? People struggle with this pregnancy. They don't know? No. You guys don't know? Oh, no, I think they know. You guys know, right? Let us know if you guys know. Because if you guys don't know, we'll tell you guys. Anyhow, I think this is it. <laughs> this is it. All right, guys. So we'll see you probably at home. No, no, no. We're going to record a little bit more whenever we have the baby. But we're not going to show him. Her. <laughs> It's a her. Get a Get As you guys uh, saw the little clips, I didn't record much, like I said, because um, Darwin and I were more focused on me because pregnancy wasn't easy. It was very difficult. It was... Um, scary oh, one of these days i'm gonna sit down with you guys and <laughs> tell you guys what i went through with this pregnancy i don't want to talk about it now later on i will tell you guys how difficult this pregnancy was and how many complications i had of being afraid of losing her or losing my own life but that's for another video for this video let me guys let me show you guys a little picture i darwin took of it was like the perfect picture he took because i was holding her when he gave her to me oh my god i was so like happy that she was finally here all those you know fears went away i was so happy that to hold her um so I, as i'm holding her i am told Darwin I said can you take a picture like of this thing let me show you guys a picture enjoy You're very tiny, right? Hold her head there. Very tiny? She's not an animal. No, she's out. Tiny, los ojos no. Okay, so that picture, you guys, gives me so much joy and happiness. It makes my heart so happy. In my head, I was like, yes, we made it. And thank God everything went okay. So... This is the end for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little clip and this little personal thing, you know, moment that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, we will be back with more videos. We promise, I promise. Um, we're going to try our hardest to film more. I'm going to wait for her to wake up and then I'll show you guys what she looks like. So, all right, guys. So, here she is. She finally woke up. My mama's hermosa. She's so hungry. She eats so much that if I tell you that she eats every two hours, I wouldn't be lying. 
she hits a lot. So here she is. Your mother? Your mother, your mother? All right, guys. So here's my little, my little baby. She's about to cry because she's so hungry. Here she is. I'm <laughs> Masuda. Okay, guys. So this is the end for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And. If you didn't like this video, stay tuned because you might like the other one. Bye. Say bye, my little munchkin.